A financial plan will assist you in focusing on the sorts of stocks and bonds in your portfolio. 2. Start investing as early as possible. According to McGowan, starting early not only gives you the compounding effects of the capital, but also gives you the chance to buy at an average cost over time, not that ceasing is a desirable thing, and makes a 35-year investment of $1,000 every year. At age 65, the first individual will have $168,515 assuming a 7% yearly return. Robert Johnson, a finance professor at Creighton University, advises, invest early and frequently. 3. Don't try to time the market. In the long run, time is your friend in the market. When to leave and when to enter again are two options that must be made, according to McGowan. According to McGowan, there are two decisions to be made. Staying invested through market cycles is important since the highest performance days often occur close together and immediately after the worst performance days. Can aid in improving long-term outcomes, according to Theodore Schneider, a portfolio advisor at Roundtable Wealth Management. Invest in what you understand. Avoid investing in tactics that are excessively complicated, esoteric, or outside of your area of expertise. If you're going to invest in a certain stock, be sure you comprehend the sector, the industry, and the firm. If you're going to invest in a new restaurant chain that's gaining popularity or a new product that's receiving positive feedback from friends and family, be sure to also learn more about it. He questions if the businesses in question are both profitable and reasonably priced.